Hello everyone, Demon here, and welcome to Let's Play Dark Souls. Now, I know the game's been out for quite a while now, and they've even released their last DLC, but hopefully you guys will enjoy this regardless. And because of this, this is why I'm going to be skipping a lot of the cutscenes. So, for our beginning class, we're going to go with the Knight out of all these different classes, mostly because, like, it's pretty well, well round. Bleh pretty well rounded and on top of that um, it also helps out for us to get the entire beginning area discovered so we're gonna just go ahead and name our character or my character after me why not and then uh, for our appearance we'll go with like a blind knight look why not uh, no 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 do not cancel just finalize creation that's what we wanted <laughs> So anyway, we're gonna kind of bust through this, bust through this area, and show you guys where some of the main items are. Um, that being said, there's three difficult enemies. I mean, two if if you if you're really new to this, and then a boss. But other than that, like if you're not new to this, you know the. You know these that I'm talking about. So go ahead and get the back backstab on this guy, and we're gonna come over here and collect our first soul item. Now, me personally, I like to save these soul items themselves, considering that um, you can use it to purchase items whenever is more convenient, and use the souls that you kind of farm to actually level up. Over here, we have our Ashen Estus Flask which helps us with our FP um, the blue bar right below the right below our health is our focus points bar and that's how we cast our magic so coming over this way we're going to kill these two guys and continue forth and over here we're going to be going up against a crystal lizard which is going to drop us a titanite scale which um, the titanite scales in this game are used for any of the boss weapons that you get in the game and honestly like a lot of them are really good and then there's just some boss weapons that are like no need to really waste your time with ah I'm gonna go ahead and heal real quick alright so we got him in a stagger and got that crit Alright, kind of hit him while he's down. So yeah, like, honestly, instead of, like, doing it how I'm doing, where I'm just, like, wasting my stamina, like, you really kind of want to watch out for that, just in case, if he does things like that. And then, crit, no? Oh, jeez. Oh my god. That was actually really close. All right, so we got the Titanite scale, and here's our second soul item of the area. And then next, we're going to be getting a Titanite scale and five bomb arrows. Not, damn it, not bomb arrows. I've been playing Zelda too much. What I meant to say was fire bombs. Oh man. We're gonna go ahead and shank him and just continue on. Now there is like one other enemy there, but we're not really gonna pay him any mind. He's just kind of chilling. There's not even an item near him, so over here we have our first bonfire. Now honestly, I really think they that, that we could have done without this bonfire. I mean, I understand. You know the boss is like right there and all, but this area is like really small. Alright, so killing this guy, we're gonna run over here and jump off this rock onto this tomb and get our Titanite shard. Excuse me, real quick. Okay, had a sneeze. <laughs> Alright, so dropping down. We're gonna go ahead and get that insta kill. Like, honestly, 
these guys, they're so easy to dodge roll past that. Alright, for this guy, I'm gonna go ahead and one shot him. Dropping down. Hajiba! Okay. Get those fire bombs. Block that dude and kill him. Now, any enemy that you run across that has a spear, it's best to just let them attack against your shield because they're actually going to kind of like bounce back a little, which gives you more than enough time to lay into them. Alright, killing these two guys. Oh, hey, look, a fading soul. Anyway, killing these two guys, we're going to make it back over this way. And here is the very first boss of the game. Honestly, this is kind of like just prepping you for like what you're going to have to go through in this entire game. If anything, it's more to just intimidate you. In my opinion, but... Time to kick Gundyr's ass. Alright, so what you want to do is just kind of stay to the left or right of him. Dodge roll past his halberd. But yeah, as you can see, you just like stay to the left or right side. Ah, shit, he got me in that grab. Please don't throw me off the cliff. Oh, thank god. Like, he, he has thrown me off that fucking cliff like one too many times. On the actual gun deer fight. It's never a pretty sight. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and kinda lay into him a bit. And whenever he does that jumping animation, it's always best to just dodge roll left or right. Because it gets you out of the way before he actually lands the attack. So, now that we've killed him, we're going to go ahead and ignite the bonfire just to ignite it. And now we are embered. So for those of you who have not played... Whenever you are embered, it allows you to play online with your friends or just random strangers. And it also gives you that extra health boost, which is very useful. Now over here we have a broken sword. A broken straight sword, if you want to be like extremely accurate about it. Ow, you asshole. Okay, over here, our first homeward bone. They are very useful, especially whenever you're in a really sticky situation. Like, what I do like about them is that you can use them in a boss fight. And what it does is it sends you back to the very first bon- It sends you back to the Firelink Shrine or the last bonfire you rested at. And we're going to do a Spartan Kick. Ah, no we're not. No we're not. Hey, 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 no. No. Down. Down, boy. We are not doing this today. But okay. Coming over this way, we have the Firelink Shrine. We're going to go ahead and set up the bonfire here. And then I'm going to show you guys the third decently difficult en enemy in this er area. I just need to stop stuttering. Got him, Adi. So coming back up here, you can come up these stairs right here, and you can see this tree that looks like a giant, I whatever, but it actually is a giant, a giant. And uh, the second Dark Souls, it was really based around these giants, and honestly, I feel bad for them. I really do. Anyway. But we had gotten our soul item and then our homeward bone. Coming over here, we can drop down there for that ember, but honestly, it's just going to kind of steer me away from where I'm wanting to go right now. So we're going to grab that ember right there. And go ahead and equip your fire bombs, which is going to be very helpful considering the decently tough enemy I was telling you guys about is like right here. Alright, killing these two enemies, we have a shield. I mean, it's not like the best shield, but it's a shield. So, this right here is the Master Swordsman. Honestly, do not like 
just don't like the guy. Ow. How about no? How about no? How about no? You fucking fairy. Ah, God. All right. Let's see here. Ah, fuck you and to help. No, no, no. Oh my god, we could have done it. If we just had that extra bit of stamina. Alright. So as you can see, this guy is actually decently difficult. Armor or not. It's those charge attacks, man. Ah, no! No! How fucking could you? Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, that cringe. Just... Ah. Uh. Well, then. Ah, oh, you're... F okay. Anywho, I'm not going to let that bother me. Even though it bothers me tremendously. I'm going to Spartan kick this guy this time. Wait, 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 wait. This time, for real, we're going to do it. Just made me feel a little bit better. That asshole. Alright, anyway. So coming back up here, we're going to kick his ass. Like, bar none, this time, we're going to lay into him. And he's going to suck it. Ah, but kill these guys first. Like, I've actually had them jump me because I activated him before, and ever since then, I always kill them first. Alright. We're gonna two-hand our sword this time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 He has, like, that badass animation coming up. Like that, that, that slow walk. Where he's all like, I'm better than you? Yeah, no. Not having that today. I mean, if you want, like, 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 like we can do this. That firebomb. Ah, Jesus Christ, no. I'm topping off my health all the way. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So, yeah. I, I really don't want going up against this guy, considering that that one animation right there <clears throat> can be like the life or death of you. Alright. Anyway, let's get this show on the road. Yes! Yes! Y oh. Yes. We got the Uchi Katana, Master's Attire, Master Gloves. Alright. Hell yes. I am very proud of myself right now. I mean... Considering he kicked my ass last time, I'm pretty proud of myself. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and please like, subscribe, and comment down below, and tell me what you guys think. And if you guys are wanting any kind of build, build videos or whatever, let me know. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. Later.